All right. Just imagine I've been asked to evaluate a dairy farm nutritional system. What tools can I use to really evaluate their managerial system and to give them nutritional advice? In this video, I'm going to talk about that. So stick around. So in evaluating uh, dairy herd nutritional manage management, we need to have some tools. In fact, there are two criteria that we can use to evaluate any dairy herd nutritional system to say, okay, have you been doing good or not? So the first one is persistency, milk production persistency. And the second criteria is BCS or body condition score of cows. So if you are asked to evaluate a nutritional system of a dairy herd, just pay attention mostly to these two factors. So as you can see, persistency is the rate of reduction in milk production after the peak yield. So the steeper the curve is, the poor persistency you will have. Therefore, you need to have a less steep curve. It means that cows after peak production needs to sustain their production and uh, reduce it gradually, not suddenly. So it's an example uh, curve about calculating the persistency. In my previous video, I talked about calculation of persistency. And I told you, you need to divide this month milk production by last month milk production to say, okay, how much reduction I had during this month. Or let's say in other language, this month milk production is how many percentage of the last month's milk production. So you can see two curves here. The first curve is uh, better because they have more persistency. For example, you can see around uh, here, the uh, persistency is 94%. But in the dashed line, in the uh, lower line, you see it is 93%. If you come here, for example, to compare them, you can see here the production persistency of the upper one is 91%, but the lower one is 89%. So our goal is to increase the persistence, but we do we need have we need to have a scale right to say okay based on what scale based on what standard I'm gonna evaluate the dairy cow herd uh, nutritional system. So actually, this table can give us a little bit you know, insight about evaluating the persistency of uh, milk production. For example, about this bread, you can see uh, from 66 to 95 uh, days after uh, calving, or we say DIM, days in milk, for the uh, first lactation, the persistency is 98%. 
it means that if you are visiting uh, cows in the first lactation from 66 to 95 days after calving their uh, milk production persistency should be 98 percent and not below this value if it is lower than this value it means that there was a problem in nutrition, in management, and we need to solve it. And we need to give uh, nutritional advice. But as you can see, for example, if I would compare these three values in the first line for Holstein cows, we can see as the number of lactation goes up, it means that uh, in their second or third lactation, when they are multiparous cows, you can see the persistency goes down from 98% to 94%. It teaches us that cows during their first lactation have more or greater persistency. And we need to take this into consideration. We need to know, okay, if I'm evaluating these cows' uh, persistency, uh, they are located in which lactation? If it's their first lactation, second, third, whatever. And you can see as the days in milk uh, uh, goes up, the persistency goes down a little bit. And we can use these values to evaluate a daily herd uh, nutritional system and persistency values. So as I uh, explained in my previous video, the peak of milk production is usually around two months after calving. So it means that when we are talking about persistency, we need to persist we need to calculate persistency after the second month. It means that when the uh, peak production uh, is gone and we, uh, the curve is going down. That's the period that we want to evaluate the slope of the milk production curve to say if the uh, slope is just right or is more and we need to improve it. We need to fix the um, nutritional problems in the dairy cow herd. So, if you see poor persistency, what would be the reasons for that? Here you can see I have arranged four different reasons. The first one, maybe it's because of dietary factors, especially inadequate dietary energy and protein. Second one, overconditioned cows. Overconditioned cows means fat cows. The cow that has a body condition is score greater than four in calving. If you see a cow in uh, with more than four BCS at the calving time, you need to know this cow will experience uh, metabolic disorders and poor persistency. That's why we need to manage body condition of the cows before calving. And I'll talk about that later on. The next reason would be about environmental stresses, for example, heat stress, and also poor genetic potential in some cows. But Take home message from this slide would be 
you need to manage dietary factors very well and you need to manage body condition of carbs before camping. My last slide for today is BCS changes after calving. So there are many guides about BCS changes after calving. This is an example. And you can see this curve shows a recommended range, shows a range. For example, as you can see here, the uh, BCS of cows uh, in zero days in milk, it means that at the calving, should be around 3.25. The important thing that we can take from this curve is that if you consider the upper uh, limit, you can see they started off the 3.25 BCS at Calvin. And after a few months, you can see the lowest BCS is around 2.8. It means that the reduction in BCS was less than one unit BCS. So it's the standard. After uh, calving, your cow will lose body weight, will lose body condition score. But this reduction in BCS should not exceed one unit BCS. If you can manage it in reduction of 0 0.5 BCS, that would be great. So to do that, we need to increase feed intake, dry matter intake during the early lactation. And we need to use feed additives like niacin and propionate, you know, different feed additives. I'll talk about them in the uh, next videos to prevent metabolic disorders and to manage reproduction disorders. So if we manage the cow during transition period and early production period, we will have uh, less drop in body condition score of the cows and we can manage them in a good way. So stick around and I see you in the next episode. Take care.